I relate to that entirely. And I remember being young and making up my mind as a teenager, as I watched my mother uh, really battle bipolar and my grandmother and looking at it being hereditary. And maybe it's a gene thing, maybe it's not. I also look at, you know, generational trauma and the impact of that going again and again and again. And so I'm biracial, both black and white, half Nigerian, half Irish. All of my background is trauma. All of it is slave trade. All of it is abuse, right? And you look at the impound, um, impounding effect of that over years and years and years. And I had got to this place where, because even as a youth, my mindset was around, I can't let mental health impact my life because I recognize that if it does, i.e. my mother and grandmother, then I'm not going to go where I want. And so I made this idea that the nomenclature of mental health existed in that you made it up. It's, it's not real. Fast forward 15 years, I'm having panic attacks five times a day. I'm completely overweight. I can't think straight. I have anxiety. I have depression. I'm losing my mind. I had a suicide attempt. Everything that you can imagine is happening to me because I did not acknowledge the truth that you can be impacted by mental health issues whether or not you want to. And that comes from the societal standpoint where I grew up in the 80s and everyone always said it's in your head. Yeah. Oh, I mean, a hundred percent. Right. And, you know, absolutely. At a cellular level, trauma lives there. They say that, uh, I believe it's every seven, year, seven years, you know, you go through a complete um, change of every cell in your body, but you don't lose your memory cells. And trauma is really deeply housed. And you can pretend, you can say, oh, that didn't affect me. Um, I had a traumatic event uh, a couple of years ago where um, it we it's a long story, but it ultimately it, re it was a betrayal and somebody put me in physical harm, a woman who I was very close to and two people in her family. And I was in physical jeopardy. And, you know, I was like, I'm Dr. Bro. And I handled it like a boss. I was like basically almost like a hostage situation. I talked my way out of it. Mm -hmm. And what happened? You know what already happened to me, Michael. I walked out of there and they screamed at me for like 15 to 20 minutes, all kinds of crazy things. And it got, got in me, right? And all of a sudden I was activating. So trauma is going to grab me. What does that mean? Act Like I was startling. All of a sudden I started startling. People would raise their voice or um, come up on me quick. And I started activating. You know, I knew enough and I went and did somatic experiencing because the EFT tapping wasn't, wasn't doing it for me. Um, but I knew enough to take stop and take care of myself because my body was giving me the signal, right? But even I, I was like, wow, I took care of myself right away. I went to the therapist. I did this. I did that. And it didn't matter. My body was like, you were traumatized. So what happens when you have people, like you said, you, your family survived famine, uh, slave trade, and all of that. Now, it's in there at a cellular level, but it doesn't mean it can't be addressed. And mm -hmm. that's what you've learned, right? Yeah. That pill isn't going to fix that. You have to do that deeper work. And it's really, really possible to do that. And it is it, what it makes, what, what's been so fascinating to me, Michael, over all these years, my dad's a trauma survivor, you know, a multiple traumas. Why does one person become resilient and another person not, you know? And what happens? Because I know so many people that have suffered horrific trauma, including my dad, beaten in his sleep by his mother, um, who survived World War II and the Germans throwing bombs and him having to run in the tunnels, you know, and he's a pretty resilient darn guy. And he doesn't look at it as like he's not, he lives a normal life. Like he's like, oh, you know, I, glass half full. This is wonderful. Lots of opportunities. It made me stronger. It's hard to say, but ultimately it's people that Sometimes it's within you and you recognize it in your body. But even if you are activated, there's always a way to unwind that with you're willing to do the work, right? 